Hi, you guys. Ginger Cook here with Acrylic Painting Monday. I know you've been waiting all week to say, well, see what we're going to paint again. And we're going to be doing a puppy in a bucket. <laughs> How neat is that? You can't and, go wrong um, with a puppy in a bucket. Got some uh, some fun new facts and tips for you. Uh, some exciting things on this show. Because, you know, if we haven't thought of them and then we tell them, that's exciting, right? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe we told them once and you forgot. And it's still exciting. <laughs> Never a dull moment. The 12 by 12 painting because we wanted to really focus in on the dog. And uh, I know a lot of you uh, are asked us if you're, if you're painting, if anybody figures out you can paint it all, they say, oh, would you paint my dog or would you paint my cat or would you paint my horse? Animals are probably one of the ways that a lot of artists kind of pay, cover the cost of their paint is learning to paint animals. And we're going to show you a, a, a fun way to simplify a photograph. And just focus in on the dog, and I think you're going to like what you find out. And, John, if you want to uh, scoot down down here to the Oh, look at that picture, cute little guy. Uh, you can see I found this really cute painting and, and uh, photograph, and we've, I've traced him on and then gone over it with a brown pencil. Okay? Well, and I just, him. we just didn't have, you know, there probably could have been a lot of colored canvases. I don't know. Um, maybe dark brown might have been better. I didn't. So just whatever. But, you know, you want some sort of canvas on here. And if you've seen me paint, trace on stuff a million times, any of the videos, we trace stuff on all the time. It's just using surreal paper. And But my problem is, is that I on something this light, I really couldn't see anything. So I, I went over it with a, just a, a soft brown pencil. Now, the reason you don't want to go over this with a black pencil or black charcoal, and I know you think this is neat. Oh, I see all the artists, they have black. Well, black mixes, this is your first tip. Black mixes with your paint changes the color, so you don't want to do that. If you find yourself having to use black charcoal on a canvas to sketch something in, then take some varnish and spray it and seal it, let that dry so that the, the, the charcoal doesn't mix in with your paints. Okay? There's All a right. tip for the day. That's your first tip. Now, we've got, uh, so I think we have a drawing we're going to be doing for um, uh, some Salvador paint, I think, from last week. And uh, we also have uh, some exciting stuff to show, some new stuff that we're going to be showing you that we, we've done. Uh, we're going to be using Salvador paint today. Um, and this is my Stay Wet palette, and it looks like a hot mess, doesn't it? But what I like about these Stay Wet palettes, this is by Masterson. And what I love about them, my daughter sent them in the art sherpa, told me about a year, I guess a year ago, she sent me one in. I just could uh, seem like a lot of trouble, and then you had to put the had to soak the paper in the water for hot water for fifteen minutes. Seemed like a lot, but you know what? That these work so well, and if you're concerned at all about the cost of painting, these keep your these can keep your paints wet up to a month and ready to use. And we found because we're a little cheap over here, we found that we use that we, we can use the paper over and over again, kind of scrape it off, rinse it off, and use it again. So, I mean, if you don't mind a few stains on it or so forth, we can use it again. Or There's two sides, at least. Two sides of the paper you can use. And so, the, I really, the, Basterson doesn't tell us anything, that doesn't pay us to say anything. This is just my tip to use that this is really a, a it's very handy device. Uh, and again, I, Kim, Kim, one of my friends uh, told me this last week, I mentioned it, and she said, you said something profound. And I said, what was that? She said, you said that you wished you had two different ones. They make them in different sizes. Oh, I don't really have room when we're filming to do that, but I would, I'd, I'd rather have two small ones, one for warm colors and one for cool colors, you know, all your reds and yellows and that stuff and all your blues and browns and stuff on the other side. So um, it would be nice to have a couple that I could separate, but uh, but I could I can make this work and you can too. So there you go. All right, so we've got a little puppy on here, and what we want to do now is just uh, I've drawn him on, and why I'm gonna kind of take a brush and um, uh, let's see, let's get rid of some stuff here. It's too much stuff. All right. I need to just kind of get the background out of the way a little bit, right? So let's chat and talk to our moderators while I'm doing that. Let well, we'd like to welcome uh, Lady Liz is back among the electrified people. Oh, good. She's finally got power, does she? Yep, she's back with us tonight. So welcome back, Lady Liz. Okay. We also have Liz, too. We have Lynn. We have, we have the elves are in the house. Luann and Lynn and Steffi. I haven't seen Judy yet, but I'm sure she's running and, around. And Luann's been under the weather, severely under the weather. So we're we're glad to see you, Luann, and hope you're feeling better. 
because I know you've been really not feeling well at all. Um, feeling the yuckies. Yeah, feeling gotten all the yuckies. All right, so what the color I'm using here, you guys, is um, ultramarine blue and that sap green or that soap green that they've got. Yeah, they call oh. it soap green, but we determined it's really I sap green. I think it was green. probably meant to be. I'm going to put a little burnt umber in it now, too. Got to get this up a little darker as we go back up into here like that. And uh, just going to darken all of this around here. And this is a, um, I mentioned this in some personal art coaching the other day, is that I, if you find yourself using a lot of water on your paint, on your paintings, they're going to look like a watercolor. And it's almost impossible to use a lot of water with a brush like this because it's not designed. It's designed for acrylics. There's two separate ways to paint. You know, it's like it's like trying to learn two languages at the same time. You you know, one time when I was in boarding school in Switzerland, uh, I was just kind of bored out of my mind, no pun intended. And I think that's what it was, boring school, you know, boarding school. And so I took Spanish and French at the same time, and I ended up learning neither language. I just got totally confused. And so it's really easy to get confused. So my strongly suggest if you're learning acrylics, don't learn watercolor for a little bit till you've got the acrylics down. Then see what you can do. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, because I'm seeing I'm I'm seeing the crossover of the results of that, where you you for instance, this is the oil painting style of using acrylics. All right. So what does that mean? Well, that means that we're using acrylics the way you would oil paintings, not the way you would do watercolors. Yes and yes. So everybody's kind of with me on that? I'm with you. So, um, and that means that you can have a damp brush, but you don't want a, um, let's put a little blue with that. Uh, you don't want a, a wet one. You don't, if, if you find that the paint isn't covering, Get more paint, don't get more water. Yes? So, um, see, so already we've kind of blocked him in a little bit here, yeah? Uh, just, just blocked in our, our bucket and our um, dog. And then I need a little brush to kind of cut in around here where his um, face is. I want, like, for instance, right here where his little paw and stuff is, I'll use a little brush like this and cut in like that. So um, people say, well, if you paint on a bigger canvas, that's the other thing too that's come up. Some Somebody occasionally gets the bright idea, you know who you are, to <laughs> take a six by eight can uh, tutorial and think they should do it huge. Well, th th most of these, you know, if, if they're not really designed to do that, okay? So let's see, we need to have this come out like that, okay? They're not designed to be painted like that. Because the bigger the canvas, the really the more information you have to have. And also you change brush styles. So for instance, if if I've done an 8 by 10 or 9 by 12 picture and you're doing it 16 by 20 and you're using the same brush, your flowers are going to look different. Did you know that? Because sometimes you have to go up in brush size too, not just canvas size. There you go. That's the other one you haven't thought about. You may have to change your brush size too. Hmm? Man, tip after tip after tip. I'm telling you, that's that's it. I need a right? notepad. Yeah. So while this is drying, let's let's now we've got this bucket here, and what we want is to make it look galvanized. So I want to put out some more ultramarine blue paint. We've got all the Salvador blues out, and I think what I want to do is take a little bit of the this, this medium blue on the Salvador paint, and I'm going to paint my bucket blue. That's going to be easy. Okay, and it's just I want this blue because it's going to be metal. So here we go. That's just kind of a medium bright blue here. This will be just we're now we're doing we're kind of doing underpaintings because uh, we didn't really have we just had some sort of beige paint on here that served as an underpainting but not really um, helpfully. So let's do that. Not helpfully. Not well, I mean, it wasn't exactly the colors you probably would want, but uh, this is one of those paintings where you might want several different colors in an underpainting. So this is why we're doing it like this. Okay, the brown would have probably worked for the whole thing, dark brown. Having said that, yes. 
Yeah. Okay. That's a pretty color galvanized. Well, you know, that's not going to be the final painting, but I need something under here. So um, it might as well be, uh, that's sort of our base for the galvanized tub sure. that we're going to be doing. Won't be the whole thing. This is a 12 by 12 canvas for those that are curious. It is square. That would be 12 by 12 would be square, wouldn't it? It would be, hmm? but I know it may come up. Yeah, I'm just going to do a little bit of, Kind of put a little bit of white on my brush here. I love this. Look at this. Look at that. See? A little bit of white here mixed with the blue. Here's my... So I don't lose those lines that I painstakingly drew in. There we go. So I've got so, so I've got a bucket. Let's take some little ultramarine blue now and put it on the inside here. Where the doggy is. We certainly hope those of you that are in the cold, um, that it warms up for you soon. I know it. I'm telling John, you what. Do you it's have been... a cold? You sound muffled. No, it's probably the microphone. We're always fighting microphones. Everybody fights sound. Well, everybody's they do, got don't the, they? Everybody's got the cameras down, but we can't get sound down. A little bit of a dark shadow under here. Constant battle. Kind of a dark shadow up here like that. There we go. Again, I don't want to... Absorbent we... ground is not being used on this particular painting. Was no. it asked? No, we just we just did a camera. Can you not tell the difference um, between absorbent ground makes it look like paper? This is just a painting. It's nothing just too fancy. We're just, you see, we're just, just sort of blocking canvas. stuff in, right? And I know I want something a little darker over here. So I'm going to put the kind of, while this is still wet, kind of blend this darker blue here like that and a little bit here under the putt there and maybe over here. I don't know. Okay. So we've got, all right. So we've got, all right, that's, that's good. So this blue brush can go somewhere and then let's get out the other brush. So this is the thing when you're painting something, just kind of block it in. Just take a moment, block it in. Don't, don't. Don't just get focused on one thing. So let's see, I think some burnt sienna uh, wouldn't be a bad color to use. So let's just take some of that and uh, we'll put it on the on this ear here. And on this ear. Okay. And there, okay. Now, I'm going to take a little bit of yellow oxide. Mine's a little dirty, so I'm going to put some clean out. This, this palette's been around the block a little bit with me. Put a little bit of this yellow oxide with this red color. And maybe do a little bit here on the... Let's see. Let's wipe the brush off. Because it's already kind of dirty. And let's just come up here on the inside of his face. Right here with some yellow oxide. And I can do it right here, too. Just so that kind of you got to be able to differentiate the lights and dark areas of the dog. Take a little orange and put it right here on his leg, and um, maybe a little orange color on that ear too. That's pretty, because obviously we've got to have more stuff on the dog. And let's see, a little bit of white and burnt sienna. Maybe we can do take a little bit of white burnt sienna and just do his his face uh, i think i want a little bit more let's have a little orange going up here i got i just again what i want is i just want some colors on him to to be the fur underneath the fur underneath the fur does that make sense that's a lot we just, of fur. Just, we want the fur underneath the fur underneath the fur so i just need some sort of color sort of blocked on him that i can be successful on doing like that okay let's just kind of narrow it in on where his eyes are going all right let's see what else do we know we've got a little bit of something right there a little bit of um leg right there um this comes up like that okay and i'm just going to take some white paint and a little bit of light blue and do the top of his um 
Feeties. Top of his little footy. Little feeties. Because uh, just because I'm married, I'm looking for the color underneath the color. Yes. So I would just sort of a light blue that ought to do it. And the same thing on his nose here. A little bit of white. And um, this is all going to be white, but we have to have a color first. Yes and yes. So we're gonna maybe you should realize that when you're painting it, you had to have a color first, some sort of underneath color. So we're gonna say that it's a little bit blue here, like that, underneath his face. And this is coming up kind of that way, this way, up here, maybe up there. Okay. So now he's, I know it doesn't look like much, but he's kind of. You know, we're not going to lose him now when we paint the rest of this, no? You got him blocked in. We got him blocked in. This is all still wet. So what can I do? This is still, th this is all kind of tacky and wet. Let me just take a second and show you something really cool, and then I'm going to go on with the background. Can um, you show any, me? Any questions, John, why I'm showing cool things? You're going to back out with the camera a little bit. Uh, no, nothing that I have seen. That's... I, I wanted to show you this. I, I, you may have seen it last week, but if you didn't, um, uh, this is our wave and water masterclass for the release for January. And it's our, um, polar bears. And I think it, you just kind of like an animals. Polar bears are And this is a, you know, you don't have to be a master painter to be a member of the wave and water masterclass, but we do recommend that you are good with one and two cookie, cookie lessons, you know, that you pretty much can do those easily. We recommend that. And, um, anyway, uh, lots of different kinds of water, waterfalls and Arctic water and lakes and reflections and as many different ways as we can think of to teach you water we do in that master class. So Academy of Fine Art Acrylic Painting or Acrylic Painting with GingerCook.com is where you would go. So that's it. Guys, how exciting is that? So next, um, in the photo. Now, one of the things that we want to do with the photos, and we want to make sure we're doing that. Where did the photo go? Where did the photo go? Oh, here. Is that you'll notice in the photo there's a lot of pine trees and stuff behind him. We're going to simplify all that. That's some of the things. Somebody will say, um, Will you paint my dog? And they give you the photo, and there's Aunt Martha and the dog and six chickens and whatever. They really want a picture of the dog. It's you've got to zero in on the dog. Yes? So that's the key. Zero in on the dog and see what you can get rid of that doesn't have anything to do with the dog. You've got to be, for instance, um, you've got to be the editor of this whole thing. So here's some more of our dark green color. You think this is going to be a two, co a two cookie? Let's see. Well, we'll see when we're done, whether when it's going to be a two cookie or not. All right. So one of the things I want to do is I'm going to take some... I want some green that's a little bit darker. So I can put a purple and red together and a little bit of that dark green. Let's try it on a plate to see if we like the color. Okay, so I know that I like this, and I think that's pretty much the color I've got on there. Don't you guys think so? We're going close to it. So if I take some zinc white and some of this uh, that color and the zinc white and a little bit of that kind of lime green color, okay, what I want to do now is just suggest that there's some other stuff happening here. Just, just see, I'm going to take this and I'm not painting anything particular. I'm just suggesting that there's some greenery coming around here like that. Okay. And this is just kind of. Your plate is kind of blocking the action. Blocking, oh, okay. creating a shadow so, and all kinds of I stuff. Want, I want to put a little bit more gold in on this side. Let's just say like up here, it's got something dark. See, we want to suggest that there is just some foliage back here. Very impressionistic, kind of just scribble it around here like that, right? Well, even when you take a picture, it'd be like it's, it's blurred. Your depth of field is not sharp back there. You don't want to draw attention to it. Yeah, exactly. And, and I think sometimes that there's a, um, let's do a little bit more of this. I'll just put some of this in. You don't want it too bright. You want it kind of grayed. You can put a little brown with it if you want. We we don't want it too bright, but um, we want to suggest that there is something behind the dog, but then what? Okay. 
Now, if you want a little more detail than that, which we have palette knives and stuff like that, could maybe come here like this. But see, you'd have, in order to scrape, you'd have to have a lot more paint than I'm doing. So let's just change brushes and get Tammy, my big Tammy one out. would like to know, would uh, one of your Van Gogh blended backgrounds be a good choice for this with the browns and greens and maybe a little gold? Well, you could do that too. Absolutely, you could do a brand. You could do that. Yes, absolutely. See, and what I'm going to sit there and say here, like this now, is I'm going to get a little bit of lighter color now, with a tiny bit of red in it, so it's gray. You red or gray, green, and I want to do something like this. I want to suggest that maybe there's some, there's something in the background. I'm going to turn it upside down like this, sideways, and I'm going to just say that. Um, Maybe there's some ferns or pine trees or something, but uh, uh, basically all I'm doing is um, creating a little bit of this. Just, just see what I like right now. I'm just experimenting. You know, do I like that? Do I want something that? And and honestly, no. It it gets too busy, so I I don't really like that. So you've got to ask yourself the, this important question. What can I take away and not ruin the effect? What can I take away and not ruin the effect? Because that is the million dollar question. Not mm -hmm. what can I add, but what can I take away and not ruin the effect? Okay? This is an expensive and now question. I've got the zinc white going up in here like this, up here in the top. And um, there we go, like that. And I can suggest a winter theme just by um, scribbling in, really just kind of in a very fast scribble. Something in our picture, kind of just maybe pulling it that way, like that, and uh, like that. This is the zinc white, so it's a little transparent. I want to have the feeling of like smoke and, you know, mirrors kind of thing. And then remember the green's still wet. So this is sort of blending in here like that. And as we come down to the bottom, we'll, we'll keep going with something else. But right now, I just want to say that this is all we're going to talk about. We're, in other words, we're not talking about the rest of this. We're just doing this up here like that. A little bit of zinc white, just you see on one side of the brush, barely touching it. And we're just suggest we can suggest I'm telling you what, we can suggest some cold here just by what we're doing. And take a little bit of the blue and the titanium white. See, and I can come on up here later and um and add more of this color as I go. Maybe down into here like this, and it's going to come up over the bucket eventually. So that's my plan. That's what I've got worked out is how I want this to be. Okay. So that being said, if you're going to do, here's tip number three. If you're going to have, if you've just played with white and you want to go back to dark, um, Rinse your brush. I want something really dark around this dog right up in here like this. The darkest spot around this dog is right up in this area next to my um, bucket. So I'm going to come up here while this is still a little wet and add some of this darker color around the dog because the dog is, is um, a little bit of purple. There you go. A little blue. I want to make sure I have enough dark around the dog, okay? And um, there. And you're going, I don't know, Ginger. <laughs> you're going, I, I think what do you perfect. speak? You know, that's what I'm thinking. There, this is exactly what I had in mind. So, in the meantime, this is dry. So now we got to do something about this bucket, yeah? 
Or blue bucket. This blue bucket, because that's kind of key here. I mean, the dog's kind of important, and I'm going to get pain in my face again. I really don't know how these things happen. <laughs> <laughs> I have no comment, my queen. Mm. Well, I have blue all over my hands. So these temper towels, off they come, right? So um, let me just smush this down a little bit. Get my green back out. Ooh, don't want that green. Where did that, that green come from? There we go. Ha, oh, there we go. All right. There. Okay. I will, when that dries, I'll put a little light over it too. It's gotten a little darker than I want. In the meantime, we're going to leave that alone. Can't do anything with that. Um, Got to do the bucket. So let's take some turquoise blue, which is kind of that light blue, and a little brown and white. And let's make a bucket color. And let's just tap that right on top of in there like that. I'm gonna tap that in there to, over the dark. There we go, tap it in, and then say, where else do I want this color? And I want some white paint. Still using the same color on the brush, but I've got it lighter now, and I'm tapping it in, just kind of almost. If you've got a round brush, it would work pretty good on this, too. And we're, your cloud brushes that you use. The, the cloud brushes would be good, too. I could show you. I'm going to just come up here, and I'm going to tap on this texture. No water on the brush. It's all been wiped off. And I'm layering on this texture on this bucket, okay? Now the secret to a bucket like this, it's not all the same color blues in it. It's got different colors in it and different shadows. And if you look at the, um, if you look at the, uh, the the photo, you see there's that's too much uh, brown, so I don't like that. But if you look at the photo, um, if you look at the photograph, one of the things you'll notice is that the bucket's pretty light, but it's all these different colors of blue. And you see, it's almost like we're sponging it on, except we're using we're using a brush. See what I'm doing? So you got a little bit of white, a little bit of this blue color, and um, just sort of turn your brush different directions. Turn it around. It's a dirty, it's a dirty brush technique. Yeah? It's a filthy brush technique. Yeah, dirty brush technique. And you just keep doing that. Kind of neat, right? So any questions why we're happily making dirty uh, brush techniques on our bucket? Uh, that's a big negative there, Queen. No questions, you guys. Everybody knows everything. I guess they do now, so it's good, right? It's from your excellent teaching skills. So next week we're going to be doing a premiere. I get a pass because I don't type well, but we'll be typing if we can. <laughs> we're traveling. we we'll are be traveling a little bit more. And... Um, We've been working uh, 24 hours a day almost to to get an, to get our premieres done and to get our academy lessons done. Um, it's very important to us that uh, um, uh, we have all that stuff done. And it takes hours for every video. How long does it take you to edit a video, John? I bet a lot of people don't realize that. Well, it depends on how much we have to cut it up. Yeah. Sometimes it's the same length of the video. Sometimes half, and sometimes twice. Okay, so give them a night. So if I do a four-hour video, then you've got... It could be anywhere from two hours to eight hours, depending upon what we've had to do during it. Yep, some of them are tough. So if if, you, if you've done it, how many videos... So when John does a video, um, he sat with me and filmed it. So he's got however long he's with me filming it. And then he's got another, at least twice that long, usually, to edit a video. Okay? So, um, when we first started the, out in the academy, we were doing very short one-hour lessons. The good old days. You know, we did very short one-hour lessons, and, um, uh, and that worked great. But as we progressed, right, and you guys got better, and we started challenging you more, all right, because as you'll do, right, when you get better, we'll start challenging you more, 
a little bit of that. Let's see, it's uh, something a little Eric's bit. Eric invited us to go to Paris, Tennessee, and he'll take us to dinner. Paris, Tennessee. Oh, wow. That's nice. We'll take you up on that someday. Someday, if we're going through Par Paris, Tennessee, we're going to. We're, we're, we're calling you, man. On that. Absolutely. Right now we're kind of. All right, so I've got a little bit of dark in here. Now there's, you can see we're getting there with the with the um, with this brush. I think I need it's a becoming smaller. more galvanized. Yes, yeah, looking more galvanized. Yeah. So now I know that, for instance, underneath here. A little bit of a highlight. I need my little highlight here. And I'm not drawing the line. I'm I'm not drawing the line. Sharon I'm would like to know, how do you it. determine what colors to use in the underpaintings? Generally, I look for the color that's the darkest underneath. For instance, if it's a dog, I try to see the, find the skin tone color. Um, if it's a pine tree, it's probably going to be... Um, uh, you know, some sort of dark, dark green or the woods are going to be dark. You're looking for the color underneath the color. There is an artist in Hawaii, however. I met her 20, 30 years ago. And every one of her underpaintings is red. That's just her deal. They're just red. And then she works from there. And um, and I had one guy told me that he, tell me that he felt that... Um, um, that ocean, that water, like oceans and waves and stuff, you should always start with red and then go from there. And I've tried that, and I wasn't sure why he thought that, but he did. See, the point is, I'm not saying people, are, there's a lot of different ways to go about it. But the main reason that you want an underpainting, the main reason, and that, trust me, there's a main reason, <laughs> is that um, is that acrylics, have the unusual property, unlike oils or watercolor, of molecularly falling in love with other acrylics. So Your if you put two life. perfectly dry paintings next to each other, face first, eventually over time they'll become what you won't get them apart. Nope. The acrylics stuck. will go, friend, friend, friend. <laughs> so what is gesso? It ain't acrylic paint. So your canvas says gesso. Why do they put gesso? Well, have you ever spilled coffee on a shirt? How about one? How about a plastic raincoat? Well, if you spill coffee on a plastic raincoat, it just runs off, right? If you spill it on a shirt, it's going to soak through. So canvas will soak through unless you put something on it. And for, for centuries now, everybody's been doing gesso. That's what we do, gesso. And it is it it isn't slick like plastic, so that it it will take you can paint on top of it, but it isn't as good. As uh, you know, after you after you have the, you still need the gesso, but then you still need a coat of acrylic paint, regardless of whatever color you choose. Maybe you want a white background because you just like how that looks. Then paint white on top of that first, and then start. How's that? Is that a good explanation, John? Sounds good to me. It's one probably one of the better ones I've given. Don't you suppose? I think so. Hmm. Don't you suppose it is? I, think I suppose it, it is. I suppose. I suppose. I suppose. Hey, we'd like to thank Sharon for the donation that came in through PayPal. Thank you, Miss Sharon. Oh, thank you very much. Sharon That's of New awesome. York, stay warm. Stay warm. Yes. Uh, I, think I think we've also been invited somewhere in Kentucky for dinner, if we're traveling through. Okay. You know, we're gonna we're gonna write these all down, and then we're just gonna draw a map. And we sorry you asked, man, because we're coming. <laughs> we be coming. Yes. Starving artists, feed us. Okay. Put a little dark edge under here. You know, you really got a good looking galvanized out of that. I was wondering how you're gonna do that. Let's see. I've got. Uh... Yeah, it it came out pretty good, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, good looking pup. Hey, for anybody that's new that hasn't subscribed yet, take a second, just press that subscribe button. It costs you nothing, and and Google and YouTube likes it, and we might get to a hundred thousand yet this year. 
we could go with for what Tony's going for, our, our cruising channel he wants. He wants 18 million. I say we do him one better. Let's go to 19 million. I say, I say, old boy, that sounds terrific, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> That's the way it goes. It's a little bit of green here, kind of popping up against the dark blue. Let me make that a little thinner. Hey, we'd like to thank Joan for the donation that came in uh, through the PayPal system. And she is in Canada, which I know is even colder than we have. Yeah. Wow. That's so brave. Yeah. <laughs> so brave. Been there, done that's, that. That's so brave. Well, I don't know. I lived in Aspen for a year. No, for years, rather. Five, like some seven or eight years. But my neighbors had grown up there. You know, and they next door, and they the poppishes. I remember them. If any of their kids are around, they'd be in their seventies now. Oh, probably closer to eighty. But anyway, they, they owned the whole go. block at one point, and um, they told stories of how, uh, you know, twenty, you know, when they were growing up, that there was a lot. We had a lot of snow, but they had like twice the snow. Oh yeah. So there's always been just th th things have slowly been sneaking around, changing on people. Um, more than people real. I mean, it just sort of more than you. You just don't realize how much things have changed. I, you know, have been sneaking around doing weird stuff. Does that make sense? Well, it is. I mean, changed. when we moved to the house that we did in um, Michigan, we first moved up there. They said, "Oh, you're going to have snow up to the second floor," because that's what they used to have. We never had it that high. Well, I told you what my dad said about how cold it used to be when he was like 99 when he died, but how cold it was in uh, in in Michigan when he was uh, growing well, he, up, right? Yeah, he was up in the UP. Yeah, he it's was very up, cold up there. Yeah, and he said it was so cold, and I I believe him because he was my dad, right? <laughs> <laughs> he said that when you you know how you have the, the kind of frothy breath when it comes out. Makes like a mist, right? When you talk, so when you talk, it was so cold, it came out as words, and you had to read what people said. And you believed him? Yeah. He wouldn't lie to you. No, no. I mean, see, that's cold. That's you know, cold. You may think you've got see, and see, you see how you can keep. Once this is dried a little bit, you 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 know that, for instance, you can add a little more the, to it. Get another. You can layer add a little on. layer, another little layer to this. You see, you see. Do you see how cra crazy this is? And look, look at you can add. I'm gonna just do a little bit of a, put a little bit of a. There's there's just some light coming down off of here like that, like ooh. I'm gonna maybe get that. And uh, hmm. I'm already stumped on something. Well, that's all right. You already what? What? I'm already stumped. How can that be? Because somehow when I did this in, if this came here, this comes up here like that, right there. Oh, you the changed the of level that. of the. Uh, somehow I got the level of this uh, to to. Oh, well, uh, I see what you did. Yeah. To to um, I was talking to you. It's all your fault. It's talking to you, man. Well, you know that happens. Gotta bring that up a little bit. Say this. That but that you know it's fixable, right? I was talking to you, and then I got that up too, up too high. All right, so that's to dry a little bit. So we now, now we can play with the dog, yes and yes? Finally, the star of the show. I'm thinking, when is she ever going to do the dog? <laughs> When's she going to do the dog, right? What about the dog? What about the dog? All right, so dog has got kind of, he's got some colors. He's got some kind of orange colors, and he's got some gold colors. And some lighter colors. So, all right, let's just come back up here like that and make this sort of light orange color for his um, top of his head here. Okay, and then I'm just going to have something lighter on this here. Now, there's too much water on this brush, so let me go back and uh, reload the, pa load the paint. And this little ear comes down here like that. See, once you have, once you have paint on the brush, uh, or a little bit of paint on the canvas, you're you're in good shape because the the next layer grabs. It's so much easier to paint. The next layer grabs. And the and layer then, after that's even better, and the layer after that's even better. Yeah, it will it will grabs, and so that's 
that's the that's the, the wonderful thing about having something like this is that you, it gets um, it gets better with each layer with each layer and so then it's we just go a little bit oranger here um, as we come down here toward the toward around the eyes it's a little bit darker we're going to do that now the trick is you don't you just kind of blend that out very gently blend that out and it as we paint more layers it'll blend out even better yeah and I know I've got a little bit of kind of uh, brown right up in here it's a little darker but maybe not that dark put a little zinc white with it but my thing is is to just get the lights and darks in the beginning lights and darks because we know we need something dark here. Something a little darker right here on this paw. I like the sound effects. Do you like my sound effects? Yeah, I okay. have sound effects. Yeah, All right, so you're going, I don't know, it doesn't look like a dog yet. No, it doesn't. And see, if you're learning to paint, someone says, I want to paint not using tutorials. The reason you want the tutorials is because when you start off from a photograph, if you get to this, you're going to think somehow that you have failed a big time, not understanding what it has to look like. And when we examine, when we take a part of an old master's artwork and we show you, you know, how we would paint it, or we show you how we'd paint this photograph, or how we'd paint the next one, all those things make a big difference in how fast your learning curve is. So my suggestion is, like, for instance, paint something like this. And then say maybe find a similar picture and see if you could do the same technique. If you want to learn how to paint from photographs and you're absolutely serious about that, um, paint one tutorial, find your own photograph, and try to see what you learned in one and do the other. Yeah. Exactly so. You know. So I mean, what what, what is it we could do that would um, see how I'm just kind of this uh, putting in the same kind of brush strokes. I let everything dry a little bit. I've just, um, oh, wait, we needed a little bit of dark over here on this side of the ear, too. This is a little darker, this side of the face. Okay. And then I want to put in his nose, and, and something sort of interesting <clears throat> about his nose. Do you see the heart shape on it? <clears throat> It's called puppy love. And uh, let's put a little black on the nose. Hey, we'd like to thank Catherine for the donation that came in through PayPal. Thank you very much, Miss Catherine. Oh, absolutely. Thank you very much. That is awesome. Okay, so I've got my nose. You got his nose. Not uh, no, but nose. not really, because here's something you may not know. A little factoids about painting dogs. This is a factoid thing. The top of the nose is always lighter. The what? The top of the nose is lighter. Why is the, that? I don't know. It's just the way it is. You know, look at pictures. That's how it is. Maybe sometimes it's not, but 99% of the time it is. It has to do with their skin color. Um, It's lighter. Because it's thinner hair up in the top. Is that what it is? Yes, ma'am. All right. So um, let's take a smaller brush now. And I'm going to zoom in here like that. And I'm going to do do his eyes why I can, right? Because I, I really love the animal's eyes, right? Well, so, the eyes are the whole kit and caboodle. I'm going to start with some dark brown. And a dog's eyes are round. Did you guys know that? As opposed to square? Well, as opposed to cat eyes, which are not round. Okay. They're round. And... um. So that's, you know, we'll start with that. And then then they get a shape to them. Some of the shape happens where the, um, um, like, for instance, there's a little bit of light. If I can do this without drying. Generally, I would do this and then dry it. I wouldn't keep going. But I want a little bit of light under here. And under here like that, I want a little bit of light under that eye. And... Uh, 
Let's see. Let's take a little bit. Of, let's let me just dry those real sec. Right. Should we do a drawing while you're doing that? Yeah, I'm going to dry the eyes. Yeah, do one drawing while we're drying. Can, can you do what that? What are we giving away today, boss? Fifty dollars certificate for downloadable. Yeah, downloadable lessons. Fifty dollars. Right, that's what we we'll do up first. Hold on a second. I got to find my right thingy. Then the the Salvador right. paint kit. Okay, right. I'm going to quiet you then. <laughs> I quieted the boss. All right. Last week's show. I don't know what video it was. I mean, remember what we did? Anybody remember what we did? We did the garden. Oh, that was a good lesson. Can I get the link here now? All right. So this is the lesson. I got to get the link for the lesson. And the word is seaside. Back over to our comment randomizer. You want to talk, boss? Are you done drawing? Yeah. Okay, I'll bring you back then. Bring me back. And we're going to go for Seaside. This will be for the $50 gift certificate for our downloadable lessons. Seaside. Get to comments. 101. Live. And the winner of the certificate is JC Mercy for me. So JC Mercy, if you're out there, okay. congratulations. I'm Do good. use the contact us on acrylicpaintingwithgingercook.com and say you are the recipient of a $50 gift certificate. Do the painting now, boss? Yes. Yeah, now I'm going ahead and, yeah, I'm doing the, um, I just used a little bit of plastic. Oh, wait, then we need to come back to you. Forget what I'm doing. You're more important than me. All right, now, now explain just, what you're I've doing. I've just taken a little piece of clear plastic paper. Called acetate. Called, called, that, called acetate, and then I've traced it, and then I've just double-checked my eyes on my dog to make sure I was okay in my mouth and everything, right? Where everything was. I like all the extra lines you have in there here from the other time she used it. Yeah, you can it. use this stuff again and again, but you know, I mean, that I just wanted, I wanted to double check and make sure I was correct. Yeah, absolutely. Or what? Get, don't stop something going too much further with that, right? Without further ado. So, um, let's see, we're just gonna take some light color here underneath. Not really white, but not really, you know, it's kind of a lighter color. And uh, I want a little black that's coming this way. And it's kind of a little bit darker up here on top, like that. It's a little bit darker there. And then I've got something dark right here, coming dark down here. So there you go. And then. You got purple eyes. Well, you may have for now. Yeah, I don't have the dark on it yet, so it's, I'm still working on the colors here, John. Absolutely, it's just interesting to see the process. Yeah, so I still want a little bit of light and color under here, and it's not, it's really not light enough. So I'm going to put it on the brush, wipe it off, and then do it twice. I'm going to load the brush twice. That's another trick you can do if you just if you put a little color on your brush, and you're finding that that's not working. Uh, chances are you need to load it again. And, and reshape it. Okay, so that's this should be black. I'm pretty sure that's black. Oh, that's purple. That's why, because I thought I had black and I was doing purple. All right, let's just put some paint on. Here, let's, all right. Just, okay. Hey, Linda, thank you very much for the donation that came in through PayPal. Miss Linda of Arkansas. Okay, so thanks, Linda. Okay, here, so I'm putting my black now underneath here and like that. There we go. And here's this under here like that. And the dark pupil. There you go. Okay. So I'm not going all the way around. Kind of those are what you call it. Kind of the puppy eyes there. They look like puppy eyes. And little puppy eyes. And let's take the the black paint, which I put right here. Come on down here with the nose. Like this. We had that in the right spot. And then we want just a tiny bit right here, not too much. Don't want to go much further than that. Just like that. Very thin. Okay. A little bit of a mouth. And then 
I'm gonna I'm gonna have to balance the um if this is it's in its little chins here. So this is the I've got to bring this bucket up a bit here like that. Again again I got it a little low, but that's all right. You can fix it. I can fix it. I gotta bring this up a little bit higher here so that that works. Yeah. And it's dark under here like that. And maybe the puppy was so strong he smushed it down. Well, I don't think he smushed it. And so um, I've got to bring it up. Uh, it's easy to just do dark and put light on top of it. So if I'm saying this is the dark part of that, right where his paw is, I, I can do that. Then I can go ahead and add some lighter color on top. If I think so, it's better if it was dry, but I think I can do this. There you go. No, can't do anything. That's too dark. Can't do anything. So leave it alone. That's fine. If you can't do anything, then stop. Okay, and here, here we want something lighter on his nose. Yeah. So we just took a little zinc white. Want a little bit lighter on his nose. We want a little bit of light in his eye right up here like this because he's looking at you. Like that. Okay. Oh, look at that. Sad puppy eyes. Oh. Sad, sad puppy eyes, right? They get that look. They get that look that says, uh-uh. <laughs> it's just, whatever's going on here, it's not right, right? I had nothing to do with it. And it's not my fault, and you're mean and mean. So there's a little bit too much. There we go. I'm going to keep going with my lighter brown gold colors. All right, so we want to have a little zinc white with some of this. You know, if you need a color and you want... Sometimes zinc white can be it because it won't lighten it that much. If you're not, experiment around with what you think you're going to need to um, um, get the color you want. Sometimes it's zinc white because it won't change the white that much. And other times it's titanium. If you need the white, change more. All right. Does that make sense? So we're just going to come up here and do get a little bit more layer up here on the dog up here too. See, this is our first layer, so now we need need it lighter. I keep turning this. You know what's annoying is I keep turning this. I need to turn the canvas sideways when I'm painting. You guys ever do that? Just turn it. I need to turn it sideways, and it's blocking my paint colors. Well, it's been dropping them all through the floor. But for instance, the yeah. So there you go. So I, sometimes I just need to turn the canvas. Maybe you found that you need to turn it too. Don't don't be afraid to you know if, if you're right or left-handed, it's going to be a little different. We talk about that sometimes. If you're right or left-handed, there we go. Let's want to move the bit. canvas so you can control it better. Yeah, because we're just talking about kind of light light tan colors here. It's kind of kind of a little bit of yellow oxide, something a little bit lighter here. And what kind of dog is this? This is um kind of the corgi. A quirky thing? Corgi. Yeah, corky. No, not a corky. <laughs> it's not quirky and it's not corky. It's a corgi. It's a corgi puppy. Corgi. So, uh, yeah, we're just, so we're just, what I'm doing is just layering on my colors, all right, so that we can do it. And, you know, in some sort of reasonable time, too, right? So it's just layering on a few colors in a reasonable time. And the white face is going on last. But like horses, um, like horses, sometimes animals have something light over their eyes. You guys, like like this, sometimes they'll have something light up here, and it, it and you can't always do that till the very end. Is the, the when you're all done and things have dried, you can put in a few highlights. But we know that, for instance, we he's a little bit lighter on this side of his face, right in here, and then right in here he was a little bit lighter. So I can add that, like this, coming up this way. And um, you had a little bit of this kind of gold color on his paws right here. And of course, he had some lovely white paws like this. Adorable so we're white gonna paws. add we're gonna add those right now. We'll put those in. Uh see, so we're gonna just start it's you hear us say this all the time, but it's true. It's layering. Um, you know, it's just layering. 
So we're going to sit there and, and dirty brushes too. Get, get, you know, have, I remember I had a, I was taking some art lessons when Cinnamon was about, um, I don't know, six maybe. And we were in Southern California, Laguna Beach. And um, I took from this oil painter because there was nobody teaching acrylics in those days. So you just had to figure out what you could learn, right? And um, he was so funny because he goes, do you ever clean your brush? No. No, I paint. And, and now we've seen oil painting programs, haven't we, John? Where you pay extra money to have that dirty brush effect <laughs> because other artists besides me know that that's very useful. Yes? That is how you get the, well, the depth and the feeling of the impressionistic style painting. Yeah. So, no, I... It's I, a requirement. I, yeah. So you're sitting there going, No. No, don't. Hey, Sally, thank you very much for your donation. It came in through the PayPal processor. Thank you, Miss Sally. Okay, there was water on the brush because I um, had it. I rinsed it to make sure that sometimes you have to really squeeze those brush. You have to squeeze those brushes out. Did you? Are you painting something for the Chinese New Year, like a Chinese themed painting? No. I don't even know what the Chinese, what, what's, what's no, the theme we, this year? We're not doing that. Well, how do you know? It could be something cool. Well, I don't know. What is the theme? But we've already, we, I'm sorry, we we're filmed all much, the videos. <laughs> we're, we're done. So, no. We pretty much got this year booked this out. Is, I'm sorry. We have filmed all our videos. We have filmed Chinese everything. Chinese New Year 2022. Um, looks like a tiger. And, it's the year uh, of the tiger. Well, we have As a matter videos. of fact that is on one of that is one further down in the in summertime. Yeah, we've got it. We got one slated. Uh, but we have tiger tutorials. We've yeah, but we have we have, yeah, but we have this other one that we came across we like better. Different. It's a different one. Yeah, but we haven't painted that one yet. No, we have not painted that yet. Right. So we just definitely haven't painted that Do one. You yet. have black paint on your thumb? Yeah, right here. Probably yeah. when I was trying to open that thing. I'm not even going to ask. Don't even ask. I'm not asking. Why, why would you ask? I'm not asking. Well, I wouldn't think you'd ask. I'm think not. that you ask is you really don't want to know the answer no. to the question. <laughs> I don't right? want to know. You don't want to answer, I don't want answer to, know. to the question? Nope. And uh, so, um, like I say, John, don't, don't ask. If, you know, don't tell. I won't tell, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's bring this over the top. Yeah, we have Taz the Tiger. That's a great one. I like Taz. The top of our little bucket. Back out a little bit now, you. All right, so that's better. Now, um, uh, let's get a little bit of highlight in this eye now. Because that's dried. Because it's dry, because it dried, right? John, was there a 2021 snow globe? There was one designed. Yeah, we designed <laughs> one, but we never, that's as far as we got. We never did. It's never, a cute one. We might do that for July. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a. Do we do? I don't remember thinking that. When, when did that. When did we think that? That was my thinking. Okay. I'm trying to catch up on some of the stuff. It's just, you know, the the queen has got to be painted in the right mood to paint what, we are, what we're going to be painting. That's true. You know, you can't be, you know, you can't force her to paint something that. You know, it's just not, I don't know, I don't want to, I'm not feeling that today. That's right. So that's why we have like 50,000 lessons ready to go. So she goes, what, what are you in the mood for? I'm going to do this one. And that's not what we had scheduled, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's why I can't do these months in advance like Cinnamon does. No. Months in advance. Um, no. Um, uh, no, we, we will grab that 2021 snow globe, though. Because it was cute. Yeah, we spent hours designing it. Yes. <laughs> it took us forever to finalize that thing. And Oh, this happens. Okay, so you see how this, the layering is going on here, right? Over that blue I'm background. I'm liking it. It's, it's looking very furry now. Yeah, see the layering is going on. And um, kind of gives a little bit of a little bit of a dark corner right there on his eye. Start to add that up there like that. Now this is still not as white as I want it, 
But I know that, for instance, I want this to be a little bit of a shadow down here on his paw. So I always ask myself, where else can I use that color? Is there somewhere else I can use it? If I'm, you know, painting something, where else could we, you know, where else could we put it? Right? So that's that's one of the key questions of the day is, you know, for instance, I know this is dark, but how dark is it? Is it, is it this dark? Maybe not. So I can lighten this up a bit now as I go. And Jean then, would like to know, is there any subject you won't paint? Guns, violent you, stuff, blood, guts, gore. Oh, man. None of that. I was counting on that. Oh, no. None of that. <laughs> and um, and uh, none, none of that stuff, you know? Uh, demonic stuff. Yeah. I don't do it, you know, but, uh, you know. The dark stuff. Uh, yeah, we don't go to the dark side with the paints, you know, and um, I remember one time Cinnamon and I were invited to, well, I had an art agent who was absolutely nuts. And he, he was French and he was in the States with his, some sort of temporary visa, which sadly he lost um, because uh, he was an awfully good art agent. And um, anyway, um, he, um, uh, just going to put out some fresh, clean white. Fresh, clean white as opposed to dirty white. Well, the white's getting pretty dirty down here. So if you want clean white, you better get new stuff, right? Wouldn't you say? Look at the difference. So anyway, um, um, we were invited to North Carolina to his home to talk about the new expo, what we were doing. And um, he had this giant painting uh, that he had purchased from one of his clients in his home, this giant painting, and it was Afghanistan, it was a battlefield, and um, there was a woman kind of huddling over her uh, child that was no, you know, wasn't living, and obviously are on the verge of not being there. And um, gosh, I just Tim and I looked at that and said, "Why would anybody want that in their home? I mean, maybe in a museum, it was beautifully painted." Uh, you know what I mean? But why would you want that? And he had little kids too. And I thought, man, I would no more want, you know, I, I know that maybe I'm just old fashioned, but I, <laughs> I, I, I just couldn't imagine having that. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, but I mean, I know some people uh, wouldn't have a problem with it. It's just, you know, people say, is there something you won't paint, right? And I, you know, I really don't like to paint a lot of mechanical things. We've done some old cars and stuff, but that's not my thing to paint. Tractors. I got one tractor out of her. Yeah, well, you know what? I just, <laughs> that's not my thing. How can it not be your thing? Tractors are so cool. <laughs> Was that the paint that get to the floor? No, nothing went to the floor. I'm just kind of bright. I need some light paint on top of this now, hmm. on, on top of his head, see? So you need to lighten this up. And it's dry enough where I need to just kind of give him a little furry top. Yeah, but um, you got to layer it. See, and that's just the thing is that people just you know, it's just got to be all layered. Well, that's to me. You know, I first started watching you. Just watch you. Okay, you paint. You put down a color, and then you paint over it, and then you paint over it again. And you paint over it again. I go. This doesn't make any sense. Why don't you just paint the color you want? And then if you look at it and really look closely at what's under all of that, you go, oh. So unless you've seen her, her paintings up close and personal in live person, you can't appreciate how many colors are in each stroke. True, there are a lot, right? Aren't there? <laughs> I still can't figure out how I can get the digital to do it. I can't. So far, I've not been able to master that one yet. No, because, I mean, you need... Um... You have like five colors going on at one time, and... I think they've got it up to three. Yeah, I do. I've got a lot of colors going on at one time. But you see how the paint now is starting to grab, grab. other paint. Yep. You see, we wouldn't do it before. I you couldn't even to get this on. effect because it wouldn't do it. You have to build up to it. Yeah, I guess that that's what people don't get. So they put, they said, see, I painted the book. I did two coats of paint on it. I'm going, yeah, okay. You didn't. You <laughs> that's didn't a good paint start. It. You didn't paint it at all. You, You, you just didn't. And, uh, you know, like, for instance, you know, I know that, for instance, I've got some shadows under here, and I've got a little shadow here. I've got a little shadow around 
please get too much paint on the brush at once. I said, where do I want a little shadow here? So what I'm doing, I guess, and I'm showing you, is that what we're doing is we're starting to, you know, we, we're bu building up these layers until it starts to look like a dog. And I remember back when I was in college, um, I took a sculpture class. Some really? of you probably heard this story. Yeah, it's heard this story. I don't know if I have. And um, so uh, the guy took us um, on a field trip. Uh, oh, no, he, it wasn't a field trip. The watercolor guy did that. This this one took us on a... He, he went, we went and saw a slideshow of Trivoli Fountain, and Taj Mahal, all the great sculptures in the world. And then he sent it back to class, uh, sent us back to class, and with the admonition to start to, um, to paint with no clue about what we were going to be painting. So he takes you, shows you all this wonderful this sculpture. sculpture. Not any idea how we're going to do it. And just says, okay, now you've seen it, now go do it. Yeah, now you go do it. Well, that sounds like my graphic. Yeah, arts and then feature. so when I asked him, uh, you know, I think you must have heard this story where I said, asked, when I said, um, well, um, uh, I, I thought I would just, you know, because I was 17, I went to college early, probably no maturity at all, but I went to college and, you know, said, well, um, I don't know what to paint. I, I don't know what to I know what to do. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take some wood and I'm gonna carve a horse. <laughs> that was my thought, you know, <laughs> to make a horse, right? Makes sense. So and of course I disappointed him greatly. I know. So my question was, so um uh what do I do now? And he says, cut away everything that doesn't look like a horse. That was the example. But basically what I'm doing today is telling you the same thing. If it doesn't look like the dog, keep painting, right? Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Well, it doesn't really, but that's no. what he, that's what he said to do. See, and um, uh, so you're thinking, well, if you don't get the colors on, let's see. You know, I mean, we're, then you haven't got much of a dog, right? You want to make sure that you're painting in the direction of the fur. Yeah, brush strokes again is important. You know, and just, you know, and you want to layer the paint on. And this is a, you know, this is kind of a learned learn trick. And I'm not trying to do every color in the dog, but kind of give it a, a very artistic expression. He still um, has sad eyes. Um... You gotta take this puppy home. Yeah, well, they, you know, puppies are a, a, an advertisement in themselves. If everybody <laughs> sees a puppy and thinks everybody should want a puppy, why, why wouldn't you even have one? This is great. Then they, and that not that they're not, but you know, they they become big dogs. So my dog could, my dog Tank could look like this. He could get that expression all oh, the time. Yeah. He thought he was being uh, unjustly treated. I guess would be the way to put it. And they give you those eyes like, what? What? And it's just really, really civilized people wouldn't act like this. Certainly a dog <laughs> wouldn't do it. Why are you doing it, right? So, uh, you know, I mean, to me, that's that, that's kind of funny in itself. See, I'm going to come up here and fix this ear that got up a little lower. Okay. Hey, you uh -huh. know, we need to uh, mention the uh, artist of the month, my queenness. Oh, why don't I dry this and we can do a little bit of uh, mentioning well, you that, that too, dry right? And let me just cue that up here on my screen. I have okay. Her, um... Let's do that because I want to. I do want to do that, and I'm just trying to there. make sure I have the the right colors. For, ooh, too much paint. Right. Oops. Right there. That's never like a good that. sign. See what I was doing right there? On the little dark right there. Okay. So. Um, uh, let me dry this. John's going to tell you about our artist of the month. This is a new thing we're doing. Why don't you tell? Because you were the one who's been teaching her and let that just sit there and dry. I'll just bring her painting over. Okay. So um, I want to. Bam. I want to. We, we, some years ago, we started doing artist of the month and then we got away from it. And our, and our art, but we wanted to come back to it. Now, artist of the month is as, a, as an Academy member. They're either a red, blue or purple member. And 
They have sent their artwork into me for personal art coaching, maybe not for advice, but at least sharing. And what it is, is I've watched artists over a period of time, maybe six months or more, a year, two years, it doesn't matter, the progress that that person's made. And it's not that they're like the, the best artist in the club or any of that stuff, right? But they've made the most progress and, and, and noticeable progress for them. And, and so our artist of the month this year, this month is Janani, and she's from, um, from India. And uh, she, she's only been with the Academy uh, uh, a little over six months where she was a full, full-fledged member. And uh, we, we appreciate her very much. And the progress she's made from starting with acrylics um, and not really understanding how they worked at all to what the paintings that John's going to show you now is extraordinary. So, uh, Janani, congratulations. Um, we look forward to seeing more of your fine artwork. Absolutely. We do, don't we? That was our, that's a persimmon challenge piece. We just give her a painting and say, do it. Yeah, that's the Persimmon Challenge. Okay. So back to it. So congratulations, Miss Jenny. And we have a certificate, which the boss will show you now before she gets painting again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. show the certificate. No, you oh, have a no, boss. No, I have it. <laughs> All right. So here is this the certificate of the, the month, student of the month, Janet E.D., in recognition of outstanding advancement in the Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting. Congratulations. And... Um, you know what we didn't do, John, was we didn't put a date on this. It says January 2022. Where does it say that? I look right there with your name. Oh, well, good. We put a date. <laughs> good job. God, I'm glad somebody's in charge of this stuff. <laughs> oh, good job. I'm thinking, where's the date? All right. So congratulations, Anthony. Great job on um, your work. We continue to see your progress, and we love it. Thank and she also receives a $100 certificate for downloadable lessons. That's what she does, yep. So we look forward to February's coming up next month. Okay, here's our, our um, we've got our little bucket here. Little handles. That's a good-looking puppy. Okay, so something like that on this end. Wait, we're still not th um, through. Um, I want to put a little highlight here underneath him. I got to do a little more for the dog, but I want to work on the on the bucket for a little bit while he's drying. I think that's fine. And so we're going to do that a little bit again. This is the, talking about where the the paint gets layered, right? And it makes a difference. On, uh, you know, there's something dark under here like that. Okay. And uh, there's something dark here with his paw came down like that. And, uh, uh, oh, yeah, we needed to come in a little bit here with his face. I take a little bit of brown to do that. And then we need to bring his paw a little bit further this way. So his paw came in over this way. There we go. So there's his little paw right like that. And uh, uh, we need to bring his foot up this way. A little bit, a little bit more of a paw thing going on there. Then I want to. Um, Uh, put a little more color on my dog in my bucket. How's that, you guys? Well, a little bit more color on this dog than I have. It's looking good. It's just right out of the Salvador paint kit, these colors. Right? And you want to do a little bit of this little shadow right there. Here we go. This little, there you go. See, we're still making the expression, right? See how we're doing that? Still adding expression on his eyes. Okay. So, um, uh, let's see, bring this down. So, uh, anyway, we're excited about that. So here's the deal. Um, uh, if you're, if you're having trouble, 
of we have little videos on how to do anything on our website. So if you're having any kind of difficulty, you want to just send me in a painting um, and just share it. You know, the reason you want that's for you too. You want to share your artwork with me, even if you never want personal art coaching, because what you want to do is is have um a record of what you've painted. You know, and that's important. And uh, somebody was complaining the just not just today about the fact that Google was no longer allowing her to share her images. Remember that, John? What was the solution with that? Oh, a lot of times we you could you used to be able to share if you if you use Google Drive to share to store your photos, you could just share that link with us. But the way Google's working now with all the privacy stuff, they've stopped being able to do that. So now you have to actually download whatever photo you have up there that you want to share to your computer and then attach it to the uh, ticket system. Yes. Which is interesting, don't you think so? I mean, it's just that, but the, but people wouldn't necessarily know to do that, right? Right. What used to work yesterday doesn't work today. And uh, gosh, we find that all the time, don't we? We do. It's called progress. Uh, you know, I just and, and and for me, it's you know somebody who I I always get annoyed with the updates. I was happy <laughs> with what I know how to do this. Why are you changing it? It was working fine for me. Leave me alone. Well, I mean, uh, even our cable, even our internet on the on the house. Oh, don't start there. You don't know what I mean? We're just um, We're about to throw it out. Yeah, we did. Oh, we we can't, but we do. <laughs> we do. This is we went so far as to look to see where we could get Google Fiber, and we'd have to move to San Antonio. Yeah, just and, and we didn't want to do that. Yeah, we couldn't. Yeah, we couldn't. Um, and you're wondering, you know, this, what are we, the fourth largest city in the nation, and we don't have Google Fiber? That just doesn't make any sense. Well, it, it, because, you know, everything gets it gets very sporadic, right? Yeah. And you, and you see that. And it, so, let's see, I want this call. I want a little bit white, lighter right here. Here we go. There you go. Fa happy face. Happy face. There you go. Come right here like face. that. That's, that is a sad puppy face saying, why aren't you taking me home? <laughs> why don't you feed me? You think that's what it is? It just, it just. What does that look like? Ugh. You really want me, don't you? Come on. Take me home. Take me home, right? There you go. So we're going to just uh, gonna want a little bit lighter up here on the top of his head. Just like that. Going to lighten this up just up here like that. Let's get the shape of his ear good. Now, this, this is a perfect color, this little peach color for his oh, face. Oh, they have great colors in the uh, Salvador paints. In the Salvador paints got, have great colors, don't they? I want a little bit more of this, a little bit darker under here like that. I'm just playing, you guys, I'm just still playing with his face because I can. Right, there you go. Yeah, let's just change, let's change this little face like that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and work a little more on my bucket. Dear Liza, dear Liza. And um, uh, uh, here's the thing about uh, stuff like like this. Um, whoops. Okay. Is that, for instance, if I want to put this, uh, you've got to kind of watch um, copyright stuff on like famous things like Coca Cola and stuff. Oh yeah. You got you got to watch that. So. Um, if you wanted to put some sort of lettering on here like this, I mean, we could, we could do it, right? On the bucket. But um, you start selling it, you got issues. Yeah, you, you do, right? You've got, you've got, you've got issues. Um, and, um, I could just put cook here and just make my, make my, uh, you know, make a letter here, that, you know, yeah, something like that. If I wanted to do something, I could put, I could do something like that, cook. And then I say, um, uh, let's see, it would go this way and like this. Uh, so that would be, uh, let's see, I'm right down ginger. You think I know how to spell my name, but let's just say, right. 
So maybe all I'd see here is, um, let's see, how would I want to make that? Because um, it's handwriting. Maybe, like, maybe, I don't know. That That's how you would do it. Uh, you know, you could, you wouldn't see the whole name because it yeah. would be around the bucket. Does that make sense? What is that? What is that? Well, we ginger cook if, if I was ah, going to do that. Gotcha. You see what I mean? Yeah. I could put that around the whole bucket, Absolutely. right? And just say, well, like, like. Well, yeah, you're just going to see part of it. Because you're only going to see part of it. And it's just going to be kind of this, this lettering like this. Um, and I could keep it going too, even just keep it going around the bucket if I wanted to, right? What if you want to um, just keep but that I, But I don't, I don't think I'm going to, John. It's cute. I don't to, think so either. I think your bucket's I, too I, pretty. I, think it, I don't think I'm going to. But that's how you would put the lettering on if you were going to, you know, do that. But we, we just, just. We that's wanted, why we did it with chalk so we could just get rid of it. We, we did it with chalk. So, so, so basically what I want to do is take my other brush and, like I say, um, Let's see, what, where's the big round ones here that we've got? Oh, that's a good thing. These, these big round John, ones. John, she could put bath time on it. Oh, bath time. That would be cute, wouldn't it? Don't do it, though. All right, yeah. But it would be cute. Yeah, you could. That's a good idea, right? So, this. Okay, so this. I want it a little bit lighter here on the edge here. Of this, right? And this is a this has got a little paint on it, but there's no uh, there's my bucket. You see what I'm doing here? This has got a little bit of paint on it, but it doesn't. I'm just there's no water. This is totally dry brush, right? Wipe off the paint. Do we name this painting yet? No. No, you want to name puppy, it? Puppy in a bucket. It's puppy in a bucket, I think. Don't you think? Puppy in a bucket. All right. So then, what I had in mind for this. Um, and, and I wanted to have it where you had a little bit of a kind of a little bit of light going across here like this for the whole book. Here's the whole, um, you know, something like that. So you got a little bit of light going across the bucket. And let's just put a little bit of something in the wrong colors. I want, I want a little bit lighter turquoise blue in here than I've got. And just make this kind of bring this edge up. Okay, so I want it to a little bit more turquoisey blue. There, right, like that. Okay. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? Let's just get a little bit of turquoisey blues are fun, you know, and, and a bucket like this is fun because there's all these colors in it. So you can have a lot of fun with this. Um, it's another one of those paints you can play with for hours. Yeah, we could play with it for hours. So, you know, we're getting into an hour and a half, so I'm going to just sort of. Uh, uh, kind of stop a little bit on that. I want to go ahead and say um, I want to bring it into as a vignette, okay? So I'm coming into the um, um, uh, like this with the with the paints and a little bit of this blue color but I want to suggest that perhaps it's, it's a snowy day. Uh, this is my zinc white first And um, you could have his name on the bucket. You know, that could be cute too, right? And just, all right, so it can go, let's see, it's, I want a little bit stronger here, coming up like that. There's a little bit of white coming down here. I think I would have liked to have put the, the writing, you know what I mean? Because I think that would have made it, but um, to again, copyright things, you can do that, but I can't. Does that make sense? So we're not going to, you, you could have done that, right? And then let's see, we're going to keep coming around here with the kind of the vignette of our snow. So you're giving a puppy a bath in a snowstorm. Oh, this is not good. You know the I, animal rights people are going to be all over I don't know you. that he's in a bath. He climbed in there because it was fun. Uh -huh. not, there's no water in there. Where, do, you where do you get the water? He's splashing around. That's why he has that sad eyes. You know, he's... 
Yeah, see now see how we've got this little vignette of him coming around. It starts to make a little more sense now, yes, doesn't it? Um again, I think the um this is these one of these round brushes are marvelous. Uh this is a um Bristle Bristol on number um oh, let's see put my glasses on 1900 round the old 1900 um do you guys like dog who um, doesn't like dogs you know we've gotten for instance in one of our good ones in the academy just back up a minute while i'm thinking about that this is buttercup some of our favorite ones that's just, a cute dog that's it we've got about 12 or 15 different dog paintings in the academy and it's a bunch on youtube too oh we haven't done the salvador giveaway well we're still i'm still i'm not done yet i'm just, I'm just reminding this. you boss well why don't you start looking for that while i'm finishing why don't i start looking yet. yeah all right I'm gonna just salvador kit i can just do it you guys trust me and do the salvador kit i want to because again i want to put some more um Some of this blue green colors in here like this on the uh around my dog now that I've, it's dried i'm gonna pop that over real quick i'm gonna pop it over my kind of good pop see that what over. i'm doing i'm just uh barbara robertson you are the winner of the salvador kit i'm assuming you're in the united states continental and you got 10 days to give us a contact us and with your mailing address please thank you See, I've got the little pine pine tree look going right now, right? Thank you, folks, for the reminder. Um, and um, oh, wait a minute, I'm not done with dog yet, but no, just You're I know fine. I want to, I want to get um a little bit just more. Just want to make sure we took care of that. Um, I think I'm going to leave off the handle on this side and just do a darker. It'd be further um, around. You wouldn't see it. You know, just dark. I want a darker th thing on this side. So he looks, you know, so that bucket looks darker. Okay. And. Uh, I'm liking it. Okay. So we got this and then we got this. There we go. Like that. Oh, right? There's sad eyes on that dog. Can, can you make the dog happy now? Let's make him happy. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. Um, I want him to be. Uh, I think I think I've almost got him, John. But I want to just do a few little more tweaks. Well, I know you do. You know, I hate to leave him like this when I could do a few more tweaks, and there he'd be, right? I don't think anybody's complaining. So I want to do just a few more like that. And I want to make sure that we've got this, that we've rounded the the corner on this bucket. Just did the little, make sure that that edge is round. Same thing on this side. It's, it, I want to make sure that it's round this way. And then I want to go, oh, what? What are you going to do? I need this, right? Like this. See, that we got out too far when we put that handle. Ah. And so now it just looks out of whack. We can bring it back. Yeah, just got a little out of whack when we did that handle, right like that. So we got to, you know, sometimes you just got to, you know, you got to do those things, right? You do. And uh, I still want to come under here like that uh, with our... Dark line. Rub a dub dub, a puppy in a tub. So that you think that should be the. That's what Tia came up with. I like that. It's kind of cute. Rub a dub, rub a dub dub, a, a puppy in the tub. So as I look at our puppy, and I keep thinking, what else could I do? I'll do a little something on the eye right there. Uh, do a little something lighter over the eye. Now I'll put something on a rag, kind of wipe the brush off because I've had paint on it. 
then I'll get a little bit more of that color. I need something a little bit lighter over the eye for expression. Right like this on this side too. We need a little bit lighter right here. Need something a little bit lighter. Well, I'm going to have to rinse the brush. I, I, I tell you what, it's fun painting dogs. And um, we just need a little bit, little bit lighter up there. I think a little bit more white in that color. There you go, like that. There you go, like this. Doop, 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 doop. Doop, 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 doop. Do you, do you do sound effects when you guys paint? Do you do little sound effects like this? Oh, yeah. all the time. I mean, I mainly make sound effects when I'm sitting there editing these videos. Is that when you do them? Yeah. Oh, I see something. It was like just, you know, if you look at something long enough, you can kind of see it where it is. And I just need to see where something needs to be lighter. Then I'll see it and I'll say, oh, yeah, it needs to be lighter right there. It needs to be lighter right up here. Okay. So, yeah, he looks a little sad. And I'm sorry he looks sad. But he does look a little sad. Let's just put some more little white over his toes here. Because it's, as acrylics dry darker, and of course he has a There we go. It's a little bit of light on the tub here. And then he's got these very tiny, I have to use different, um, I have to use a different, uh, uh, whoops. I'm going to round out his little heart shaped nose here a little bit. We really lost emphasizing it a little bit. That. You're really going for that. Huh? You really go for that. What? That heart, pulling it to heart strings, I'm telling you. You got sad <laughs> eyes, you got a heart nose. Yeah, is that right? It, it could be a Valentine's Day puppy with that hard nose, right? Yeah. Oh, for instance, um, um, all right, so what I see in the picture, which I don't have, and I think is I'm out of paint, and I, there's a tendency, even I, I do it, if you get out of colors to just kind of, you know, and I, I need some light colors. For instance, I need this light color back here on the back of this uh, bucket. I need that light kind of reddish. I need this light color back here. Right back there like that, okay? But I need a light blue color for the top of the bucket. It's almost a, it's like a white blue right up here, kind of a gray blue color. Hey, we'd like to thank Art Thomas for the donation that came in through PayPal. Artie, good to see you back here. Oh, hi. And um, and thank you for the tractor painting again and again every time I see it. That makes sense. Uh, obviously, he doesn't get any tractors at home. <laughs> Right, just uh, I have to go out to my fellow artist to supply me with my tractor fix. All right, so we're just going to kind of exaggerate the um, a little bit of our uh, going to exaggerate that a little bit on our bucket. That's fun, right? Bring that around. Okay, so that's those are all good things to do on a bucket. Yes and yes, and this especially is especially with a puppy in it. Yeah, and this is the thing wherever there's a light, there's a dark, and then. Um, I'm going to bring this up a little bit on his eye and uh, yeah this emphasizes okay. sad just, eyes just, more just uh, why don't you, you, you give me a little tear you know <laughs> jeez you're tormenting me with a dog <laughs> just and he needs a little bit more white. He needs a little bit under his chin like this. Just it's a little darker under here. It's in his chin on this. Just a kind of a little grayer under here. And then he had a little bit of a... Oh, too much paint. Just a little bit. And... Uh, 
So his... This but you know what it is, you guys. What it is is this bucket has to come up this far. <laughs> I know I keep talking about, it, but this bucket right where his chin is is off. And if it isn't right, then it's gonna. You sent this in for. A it's just gonna bug you forever. It's gonna bug me forever. So it's got to be. This has got to be up higher too. Which is okay. Just you'd have to know that, right? So how do we fix that? Well, you you still need a. Need some paint, I guess, would be the best way to fix it. You need to come up under here like this with the top of that and fix the top of the bucket. Yeah? So now I've got to do this. I'm sorry. So we may go over overtime here longer oh, yeah. than I want. Yeah. yeah I'm sorry, but you know what? I can't leave it because this is the thing yep. that would bug me. I can't leave you with that. I can't. This would bug me forever to just have this like that. Okay? So... I had to bring the top of that band up, or it's not right, John. So um, let's try this again with and I've got just a little bit here under his chin. Uh, yeah, and there's a little square Right in here, there's a, just a little dark blue spot right there. And there's a little bit. To, oh, I see what it is. There's more dog right here. There's more dog right in here. That's what I'm missing. That's that's what I was missing. There was more dog right there. Sometimes you just don't see it. But there was more dog right here. But the whitest part of his face is right here. So you're seeing this. Okay. You're seeing this right here like that there we go all the brush strokes are going out everybody's with me on that right then this is going up like that and like that a little spot above his eye so i think i think that's pretty much i think that kind of it came up with a question that, 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 uh any whiskers on this little guy yeah he needs some he absolutely needs some whiskers every time i turn around my white paint uh, seems to disappear on me uh, you know, I had the top of this paw very Well, the dog white, keeps taking it. That, that Very white up here on the top, right, like that. And the same with this one. I don't know where, you know, the white paint's got, but I wanted that white pretty much. wanted that very white right there. And, um, and I want this to be round right here. Okay. I mean, it's so small. Little small stuff, right? And, uh. There we go. Let's just make that a little bit smaller there. Here's my black paint. It's coming up like this and then back down. There you go. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you'll lose some of the eyes when you're painting it, but I think I would say that that kind of, that sort of fixed it. And then I put a little bit of paint right here. Oh, yeah, we, we still have to have whiskers. There we go. Just turn that back a little bit. All right. So whiskers. Puppy if, whiskers. They're super fine. Yeah, they're very, very not like a cat. So you could put them, but um, practice on something first. Don't just be willy nilly putting something. Like take a canvas like this and. Well, not that we can see that. Can you see this? Can now. Now this is where you want water on the brush. Yeah, you gotta. You gotta it's got to be dirty. very flowy or use flow paint. So yeah. that I'm not happy with that. So then probably what I would do is use this golden open flow on it, right? Yep. I want to bring this over a little bit here. It's just, just there. I want this lighter right here on this side. There you go. Okay. So I would say, do if you're going to do flow, um, oh, that's open medium. That's not even the paint. Where, where did the flow go? 
Oh, titanium white. Well, read the labels. <laughs> read no the labels. Comment. Shake it up. Okay, let's bring this down a little bit like that. There. Ah, there we go. Just that one line on that dog. Made him even sadder, right? Okay, so here's our golden open. We'll put put it, let's just try it first. That's pretty thick. All right, so let's rinse the, all the paint out of the brush. Start again. I had other paint in there. Let's try it again. Yeah, now the harder you push, Actually, I want this this muzzle a little wider right here, too. While you're there. It just made it a little bit fatter right there. There you go. And, yeah, I uh, think that'll work. You think that'll work? Yeah. And, um, I guess that's a suggestion. Yeah, it was a good, yeah, it was a good one. And um, Could you use a Posca pin? No, they're too, they're, they're they're too, too fat. Thick. It has to be very fine on a puppy. Okay, so that's a little better, right? Yeah, it's a good looking. But I mean, now. practice it on something else, right? Yeah, don't don't, don't on just, your painting. Just don't put it on the painting. Um, then what if you don't like it, and then you're sort of stuck with it? Here, and you still need this. There we go. Come on over the paw. Here you go. Here you go. There was a little dark paw nail right there. A little something underneath there to suggest that there was some little footy thing going on. Well, you know, I think that that's sort of fun. Don't you guys think so? Um, when you're talking about, you know, what... Can you... You know, I don't think I would do much more with the, with the, um, with the bucket or any of that because I think that you've got... Well, you, um, want, you don't want to take away from the star of the show. Yeah, yeah. and the, and the, the dog sort of is, you know, he's he's very fun here. Just um, I, I'm seeing something here. You're going. How can you see something? I'm looking at the edge of this. Um, the edge of this paw comes up higher. Up here, like that. Comes up like that. See. Small stuff, but you know, you just small but important. And um, yeah, could you? What comes under here? Like here's our um, our other. Let's see. With this, I don't have any white paint on. That's kind of annoying, isn't it? When you're doing this and you don't see the white paint like that. There you go. So there's our there's our bucket. Woohoo! <laughs> Forget the dog. We have a great bucket. We have a great bucket. We've got a cute dog, right? Um, if you like, uh, if you're thinking about, I'm going to sign it in a second. If you're, and, uh, I'm stalling because I'm trying to think what else I want to do before. I'm going to give it one last shot before I, um, I stop. Oh, I see it. I knew it. I see it. But look, check this out. This is what's getting released in the Academy this week. Oh, Back that's a great up. picture of a lamp. Yeah, this is a back that out while I'm looking at one more thing I have That's to do. That's Impressions of London. Yeah, and this was one of our old EGs. Uh, this is a really going to be a fun tutorial. And I like we think that it's style. perfect for this time of year. Yes, and yes. Unless you live in Australia, then no, it's not so much, right? <laughs> then, you, then you want to paint the puppy. All right, so what I wanted to do here was bring this eye down a little lower. Here, take that brown paint. And bring this eye down just a little lower here like that and come up. See? Just. So now that we've gone this far in it, how many cookies are you calling this one? Well, I think it's still two cookies. I mean, you saw where we had to, you saw where we had to just keep 
working on the dog to get him to look like the dog. That's all. Right? And uh, I want to just... Now what are you doing? Oh, framing it. So yeah, we frame she... him instantly now. So, so how does he... How does he look in that? Is that sort of a, you know, um, this well, could have been, you know, you right could there. have done this with as a holiday painting, too. Do you know what I mean? Um, well, it's any type of painting. Yeah, because if you put a, few, you could put a few Christmas decorations back there, just suggest a couple. You put a little light back there, or reindeer, or elves. No, John, there's no elves or reindeer. Tractors. just wanted to sometimes when I do something and I'll look around and the paints dry darker again but I feel like if you look where do we start with this where did we start here if you look at this is where we started with all this greenery and what the whole point of showing you how to paint this dog was to simplify it just to, to simplify the, the simplify the painting and make it about the dog. And that's, I can't say enough, enough about I stuff that like that, coming. right? He knew I was going to do something like that, right? Yep. He just, he saw me pick up the brush and he goes, oh no, she's going to do this, right? Yes, she's going to do this. Any tricks to keep my wet palette from molding? Yeah, I dip my sponge in hydrogen peroxide and water. And we have, we've had it sit here for six weeks with no molding issues. Yeah, we never had it mold. Hydrogen peroxide. It gives an unusual odor, but it's hydrogen peroxide. Yeah. No, it's we we've, we've had great success with that. Yeah. No issues. So corgi in a corgi in a bucket. Uh, I'm gonna sign him right here. No, oh, really. I guess so. There you go. And um, uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Be sure to join us on our premieres that we'll be having the next few weeks. And um It'll be at the same time, five thirty central time. And uh you know what we'll just uh well we were reading the comments and uh, I may mean, come up with an imaginary contest that I'll make up on the trip that uh, who knows, somebody that's made comments this whole time while we're gone, well, who knows? I, I may pick just some random people and uh read their comments and and word Gifties. Ha-ha. And what? Award well, gifties. gifties. Mm. All right. That's it, boss. That's it. Is it dinner time finally? It's I'm finally starving. dinner time. I hope you guys liked the picture. <laughs> I hope it was fun. Hope it was fun, everybody. We will uh, be chatting with you next few weeks. See ya. Bye, everyone. Bye. Ginger Cook, the queen of color, with a blazing brush at the speed of light, and a blank canvas, and a hearty yes and yes. The queen of color, Ginger Cook, and her sidekick, John Little, teach you to paint with acrylics.